All right, in this video, we're going to talk about adding and subtracting matrices and also multiplying matrices by a constant. Um, one thing to bear in mind is that to add and subtract matrices, they have to be the same size. So notice our first matrix here is a 2 by 2 matrix, has two rows and two columns. And the other matrix is also a 2 by 2 matrix. Um, if you had something of the form, for example, maybe it was a 2 by 2 and you wanted to add to it um, something that was a different size, this you simply cannot add in the very top example because they're not, you don't have the same number of rows and columns. So that's one basic thing to remember. After that, it's pretty straightforward. Um, to add and subtract matrices, you simply, in this case, so I've got a 2 by 2 matrix, you'll look at the top left entry and you add to that the top right entry. So 1 plus 10 is 11. And then I'll do the top right entry and I'll add to that the top right entry. So 2 plus 0.6 is going to give me 2.6. 3 plus 0.4, so the bottom left and the bottom left is simply going to give me 3.4. And then 8 plus 14 is going to give me 22. So that would be your final answer if you added those two matrices together. So let's do one, a 3 by 3 matrix. I can find it here. All right, here we go. So the same idea. Um, I've got a 3 by 3 matrix, matrix, three rows, three columns, and another 3 by 3 matrix, three rows, three columns. They don't have to have the same number of rows and columns, um, so maybe we'll do one more like that. But again, you add 1 plus 10 and get 11, 2 plus 20 and get, well, 22, 3 plus 30, you'll get 33, 4 plus 40, so now I'm adding the first entry in the second row plus the first entry in the second row on the other matrix, I'll get 44. 5 plus 50 will give me 55, 6 plus 60 will give me 66, 7 plus 70 will give me 77, should have made my matrix a little bigger, 8 plus 80 will give me 88, and lastly 9 plus 90 will give me 99. Okay, um, again they don't have to be the same size, well they excuse me, have to be same size, but they don't have to be square matrices. So suppose I take this matrix and add to it 1, 5, 8, 9, 3, 4. Again, you're going to do the same thing. The top left plus the top left, 2 plus 1 will give you 3. Top right plus top right, 3 plus 5 will give you 8. The first entry in the second row plus the first entry in the second row, that's 4 plus 8, that'll give you 12. 5 plus 9 is 14. 6 plus 3 is 9, and 7 plus 4 is 11. Okay, so you're just looking at basically, again, corresponding places in the matrix and adding those values together. So, for example, again, the 4 plus the 8 give us, give us 12. Subtraction is exactly the same thing. So suppose um, I want to calculate... this matrix. So I've got, now you just subtract corresponding entries. So 1 minus 10 is negative 9. 2 minus 0. 0.6 would give you 1.4. 3 minus 0. 0.4 would give you 2.6. And lastly, 8 minus 14 would give you negative 6. So that would be the solution if you subtracted these original two matrices. Um, the last thing, again, not so bad, is if you multiply a matrix by a constant. Um, all you have to do in this case is whatever number's out front, and notice this is different between, it's different than multiplying matrices. Um, now you're multiplying just a constant by a, um, to a matrix. And all you do, whatever number's out front, you just multiply every entry by that number. So 10 times 2 is 20, 10 times 3 is 30, 10 times 4 is 40, 10 times 5 is 50. Okay, 
So kind of the basics of adding, subtracting, and multiplying matrices by a constant. The harder thing, which I'll talk about in some other videos, is when you multiply matrices by matrices, and also when you start doing um, other things such as finding inverses um, and row reducing matrices. So feel free to take a look at my website. I'm going to have, um, there's lots of other videos there. Um, and all those other topics about matrices are not up there at the moment, but they will certainly be up there soon.